Hey guys, what is up? The NeoCubist here. Welcome to episode 16 of my Minecraft Skyblock Let's Play, where today we're going to be taking and tearing down our entire island. Now I know, you guys are thinking, why would you tear down your entire island? Well, I actually have a really cool plan for today. Um, something I wanted to do from the beginning, but we didn't have enough money or means to do so. And uh, I think now is the time. Um, yeah, if you'd like to play the server along with me, or if you'd like to visit my island, which reminds me, I need to turn off visitation for now. If you'd like to come check out my island in person, you just do slash visit the Neo Cubist, just like that. As, just slash visit the Neo Cubist, and it will uh, teleport you to somewhere. I just realized we have IS set home, so you'll teleport right there, but we'll end up changing it. So, tearing down this entire thing is definitely not going to be a very simple feat. Now, did I grind in between last episode and this one? Yeah, betcha, I did. So, let's go into studies. I'm actually pretty close. Oh. I'm actually pretty close on crop. We're 71% of the way there. Uh, I wanted to get fish, like, on camera. So, I guess I actually did that a maybe two weeks ago now <laughs> it's been a while i'm sorry so let's go ahead and fish and then when i get to the last few fish i think i need to get what was it 30 uh well, let me get this one i think it was okay yeah so we need 29 fish so i'll come back in 28 fish how about that i just lied to someone they said neo are you recording right now i said nope <laughs> little do they know i'm recording this very moment but yeah, whenever I say I want to tear down my whole island, I literally mean everything that's, you know, this platform. I mean, this platform was originally built. Okay, hold on. This platform was originally built because, you know, we had to have a ladder. We didn't have the ability to fly. And since we have that, like, through every single season now, it means when we start next season, which is still very far away, uh, but I'm just trying to plan for the future, I will not have to build a big tower like this. I mean, I think you might still have to just because you're not going to have a big island off the rip. But we're going to be able to do something really cool now that I hope you guys like. I'm going to have to use a building calculator to build the base of it. And uh, I think that should get you guys pretty excited. Because usually I like to eyeball things. But I have a feeling that if I eyeball this, it's going to be a little messy. Now, I don't even know, like, IS upgrades. How big is our island? So it's 50 by 50 currently. Um, and I'm trying to think, how do I make... A circle 50 by 50 I'll give you a little bit of a, a hint I do need to remove all this tree stuff I really like the way that it looks don't get me wrong but it's not exactly conducive to what I'm going to be creating today which means I gotta have my axe out my hoe uh, the shovel for all that and I, I thought I'd be super close okay we just did we just unlock exotic fish how much does that sell for yeah we got to advance so that sold for six bucks okay that seems like a little bit better, but now nah, I guess we're getting uh, exotic fish now. It should be one more fish, or maybe maybe we're already there. I said it was under construction. Don't 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 look at those two. Um, yeah, we're ninety nine. Yeah, okay. So we still need twelve more. So hold on, I'll be back. Hey, look, I found a pet egg. I don't I don't really know why, but uh, it's kind of exciting. I guess I know why because it's completely random. Increased special drop chance. Now, if I deactivate this pet and I combine these, now we have a level two, uh, which was actually really good. So now we have an increased special drop chance, which is probably one of the best pets, especially since I want to get more. Oh, you know what? I didn't check and I will go back. Actually, how close are we? We're nine fish away. Well, before I forget, I want to check this. I guess we would have ended up going here anyways, but how much, how much beef do we have? Oh, we got the beef, dude. We are Arby's at this point, dude. That's a lot. I wish I had a cell wand, and I don't know, like, if I'm looking on auction house, how much are those, uh, those going for? Oh, people are selling crates in here. Nice. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, like, another big thing. Like, the crates you have to spend money to buy, you can usually just buy in the auction house. Like, people just sell stuff. People just sell stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see any, but, yeah, l l let me get this. Okay. It has to be the next few fish. I lost count, but it was like five before I was not counting. So <laughs> it can't be more than five. Uh, I don't know. That noise sounded pretty good, but I'm pretty sure that was just 15 levels of XP. Nope. 
look at that. We're 100% on fish, 100% on wood, and we can get the crop pretty easy. The ore is just something you just got to watch YouTube and mine, and then got to get the mob. And when I say watch YouTube and mine, people sometimes misconstrue that. I mean, you got to be looking at your screen. You can, you can, uh, you know, make your Minecraft small and you can mine. But if someone, like, comes to you and teleports you and you're not responsive, you're, you, you can't be AFK mining. But that's not to say that you can't do something else while you're mining. You know what I mean? Like, you can watch a YouTube video as long as you're here to interact with a staff member. Okay. So, uh, thank you guys. I know people are disappointed because we've met, we've missed some developmental goals, but it's not really... It's not really Scout's fault. These are developers. It's just things take so much longer and they're hard to estimate. Um, okay, so let's sell all of our fish. And let's see how much money that was. I'm kind of curious. Should be a good bit. Uh, yeah, 159 bucks, dude. I'll take it. Any day of the week. All right, so let's put up all the tools we don't need for now. Um, I know we're going to need our shovel. Uh, we actually need all of these, so we're gonna start by taking down all of these <laughs> Which which seems like it'd be pretty simple. I think I'm gonna start by just Removing the moss which if I can fly. Oh, I can fly and do that And I know we're losing some lanterns and stuff if it means my sanity is intact by the end of uh, me Disassembling the island then I will take it 100% all day every day So let me remove all the moss and then I'll go back around and we'll start by removing the frame and everything. And this is beautiful, but I think we're going to end up with something that hopefully at the end of this episode will look even better. Or start to give us a foundation to build something that looks even better. We'll see how far we get, okay? No promises, but we should get most of it built today because it's really not too, too difficult. And uh, I don't know. I just feel like I want to evolve from this muddy island. I really like the mud, but... uh. You know, I feel like we could do a little better, right? Oh, well, I guess I hadn't pressed record. I'm kind of sorry. I finished with the outside, and I was talking about how it was actually a little bit more enjoyable than I thought it would be. It just ended up being more enjoyable. And then I said, man, it really sucks. I just repaired my tools, and now I got to, you know, start dogging on them again, breaking them down. Breaking them down just to the handle. Uh, but yeah, we got the outside removed. And it's not to say that I didn't like this island. I really like the island. But I feel like it's time for an evolution, okay? I feel like it's time for an evolution. So I'm going to just kind of destroy this thing layer by layer. The only part I'm probably going to keep, at least for a little bit, is like the, the area that has the chest. Just because I'm going to need to like, you know, put some materials there and whatnot. Because I'm not really sure what all I'm going to keep versus what all I'm going to destroy. All the mud brick from the outside, I just ended up throwing off the edge which a lot of it probably ended up in the sugarcane farm down here um so it's just gonna despawn but it's okay we we can get more mud or uh you know i was hoping that most of it would land in here and then it would go into the chests over there but i don't i don't i don't think that happened so i'm going to uh start destroying it enjoy your last little look at the uh, original island all right guys we almost have the first layer gone i know it's it, it's almost kind of sad to see I've already dumped out like everything that was in my inventory aside from the bone meal blocks. I just dumped out because like we don't need it. We ended up getting too much stuff just like you typically do in a Minecraft world. You end up with too much stuff and you just don't need everything at some point. Like when we're first starting, like, yeah, we worked really hard for a few bone meal or we worked really hard for even the wood for these ladders. But at this point, it's like we got it. We got all this stuff, man. We're fine. I am going to try to uh, get this uh, lava gone without burning myself alive. It looks like we already did it. Nice. And then we should be able to just start removing this thing too. we got to remove the pillars. And then we go down to the next layer. Um, but like I said, I'm probably going to keep the chest here. You can see some of the stuff I threw on the ground because I didn't want it. Um, but yes, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to keep the little chest area for now uh, because we do need some place to uh, put some excess stuff. A lot of it I'm going to end up selling. Uh, but we already have our, you know, farms established and, and, and whatnot. And as far as getting blocks, well, I think I'm going to build a pretty cool uh, generator with some pistons and stuff like that. We'll uh, have to see how that works out. But, yep, I'm still happily breaking away. I'm just watching some uh, Linus Tech Tips and uh, breaking my own. 
I am sorry if my mic seems louder now. I'll try to remember to turn it down in the uh, in the settings because, I don't know, for some reason sometimes with the microphone level and Windows gets turned down randomly and I have to fix it, and that's what happened here. I want to keep these smokers and these blast furnaces, although to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever used either of them. I feel like maybe I used them a few times, but not a lot. I've had to repair this pickaxe I don't know how many times. Uh, when, and when I say I want to keep this chest area, I'm talking about just this little spot right here. Just for now, while we're building our, uh, I guess I can call it a mega base. I don't know. I mean, for, for most people's standards, it wouldn't be. But I guess kind of for me, it is. And I feel like we're at that point now where I can build this. And it will be economically feasible, given our financial position here on the server. Um, I haven't checked Baltop in a little bit. I'm kind of scared. Okay, 7 million. So, I mean, it's still, like, relatively low. Um, you know, on the second page, you know, around 500,000. Most Skyblock servers, people be, like, in the hundreds of millions and billions. And it's just like, I don't know. It just gets out of hand, man. It's like, come on. Come on. And the competition, you know, it was on Saturday. So people probably dumped a good bit into that as well. But, yeah, I mean, the server is doing really well. Like, the economy is developing very nicely. Um... I think the only problem that players seem to have is they're waiting on updates, which we're working as fast as we possibly can, guys. I promise you, there's really not much more we can do aside from uh, be patient. Okay, so I'm going to remove all this stuff. I guess we'll, you know what? Yes, we will leave the uh, hanging lanterns, actually, just because they look kind of cool. It'll be a nice like floating platform in the sky. Um, and then honestly, if I have, yeah, I do have some lanterns. I will just put them... Because I'll probably end up throwing the rest off the edge. I know it makes some people mad, but it's like, it doesn't matter. We have a lot of iron. Um, I'm going to like just dump out most of this stuff because I want to keep obviously like the iron that we have here because we worked really hard to get that. So we're going to make it into blocks and then we'll put it in our PV1. And then we're going to auction this piece of iron for $1. So we're going to do a AH. And then we're going to create a listing. Oh yeah, it's a slash au auction create for $1. And it's gonna cost $25 to list it, but it's okay. We're basically giving away a free piece of iron and we'll see if anybody buys it. We'll see if anyone buys my special iron from the Neo Cubist. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna keep destroying it. I think next on the list is the cobblestone generator. Oh, that one's gonna be a sad one, man. All right. Um, so I think I want to keep, like, some lapis and some redstone. I'm going to make the redstone into blocks, right? Because you want to keep that. Um, yeah, we're going to keep that stuff. I don't think really, like, all the stone was gone out of there. This is a good pickaxe. I'm going to keep that for sure. We're going to keep that for sure. Let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and put all that stuff up so we don't end up somehow selling it or losing it. Um... <sighs> Lapis is so easy to get. I know it seems like, why would you throw this away? You know what? We'll put it down there so it's uh for later us to deal with. Okay, nope. It's actually just going to despot. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. And now we're going to take care of this. We might have extra coal in here. Yes, we did. Or do. Let's make that into blocks as well. Just because coal is not, you know, I mean, you can get a lot of it um, over time. But I do want to kind of keep that. So our, our personal vault number one is pretty filled up. Wow, we just got a lot of levels from that blast furnace. Nice. Um, and then we get to take care of this bad boy. Now, it's a little tricky because I don't want it to, like, flow off the edge. So, because I, I, don't, I don't know what it'll mess up, but I have a feeling it's going to mess up something. I also think I built that a little. It doesn't even matter if it's even. We're going to literally destroy it in, like, two seconds. Um, but just to keep the water from flowing out, because I'm pretty sure I could get to it pretty quickly, but I don't really want to find out. So we'll just do it like this, and then, sure, break it like that. And just like that, our cobblestone generator is no longer operational. What if we need more mud? What am I going to do? I'll just build another one in, like, a couple, couple seconds, you know. Easy peasy. Not hard at all. Um... Yeah, I mean, the only thing left of the layer above us is is the chest crafting table floating. It looks like a UFO at this point. Um, I definitely want to keep the anvil. It's damaged. It looks like severely, um, but we're going to need that to repair our tools. 
Oh, I may have not thought this through all the way, but I've thought through it enough. Okay. I'm going to... Okay, we got to do another little dump of mud stuff that we do not need at the moment. I may regret this because what am I going to build it out of if it's not mud? What am I going to build it out of? You know what? We're going to... We're just going to figure it out. We're just going to figure it out. So we're going to pick up all these. We're going to put these in our PV1 because I know we're going to want... To keep our spawners, obviously. Like, all the chicken? I mean, aside from maybe keeping a stack, what do we need the chicken for? Um, getting rid of the chicken and the frog is going to be a little tricky because they're going to fall. Um, I don't know exactly where. I think we're going to keep... Um, I'm not so sure. You know what? I'll deal with that layer when we get to it in a couple of minutes. I'm going to... I'm gonna think while I oh okay okay well that's okay well okay well okay yep just keep yep where is that coming from I guess there was an infinite water pool here that was our impromptu waterfall is this gonna mess no it's gonna fall straight to the tree farm that doesn't matter okay let me break this and then I'll deal with my problems I'll just just keep kicking them down the road and then we'll <laughs> deal with it later okay well we are here and now it is our current problem what exactly do we do? Also, this bed, very, very valuable. We got We got to keep the bed. We got to keep the bed. All the mud stuff, I may regret throwing it out, but uh, I don't know. I, th I think it'll be okay. As long as we have room for all this dirt, we'll be fine. I'm not sure if we're going to keep the spawner or not. I mean, I want to make like another one if we don't. Um, also, bookcases, I can afford to buy them very quickly. Um, these anvils... We want to keep the anvils. We want to keep the actual, like, books, obviously. But uh, we want to keep the enchantment table as well. Uh, so we just need to make sure we pick up stuff that's really important to us. Not a grindstone. Nope. That's... There we go. There we go. So we can't even sleep through the night. The dark, dark night that is about to approach. It's going to be the darkest night in the Neo Island history. Where our island... It's... It, it's kind of crazy to think that like, we had this big island when we started. And trust me, what, what we're going to end up with is way bigger. And I think it's just going to be better. I, I, I think it's just going to be better. All this stuff, though. Oh, that's so many. How many entities are on the ground right there? Okay, not that many because they bundle together. But it's a lot It's a lot of chicken. Trust me, okay? It's a, it's it's quite quite a few chicken. Um, our excessive crafting tables are no longer a floating grindstone. No longer... The connection to our wheat farm has been completely, uh, yeah, completely severed. But yes, I, I, I don't exactly know what we're going to do with the mobs because they will not despawn. Um, they'll fall down and then they won't generate any more mobs because they'll technically be still on the island. Um, so, like, I don't even know how to get the frog out of here. I guess I could use a fishing rod. I could use a fishing rod. Actually, let me see. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. Uh. Oh, wait. Okay, this, this might be a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. Yes, I see you're ribbiting. Can you ribbit and then I put a, put a thing under you? I guess I could. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm a smart guy. Hold on. Hold on. I can figure this out. We're going to craft a crafting table. Um, I'm first going to throw all this off so it stops jam-packing my inventory full of stuff I do not need. Don't need ladders. Don't need the moss. Don't need that, 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 that. Okay. You know what? No. We're going to go pick up all this stuff. We're going to fill up our inventory. We're just holding down Q. There we go. It's all gone. Uh, we'll keep the lanterns. <clears throat> I just want to pick up all this stuff. That way I don't feel all, like, suffocated by my inventory. Okay, toss it out. And now we're in a much better shape. Okay, don't need 13 chests. Don't need some chicken breast. Don't need... Okay, we do need the iron. Okay, so we're going to be smart about it. We're going to craft a bucket. Yes, that is that is my grand plan here. And then we can... Yes, now the frog is gone. I'm unsure how they got the frogs out when fishing rods are disabled on islands you don't have permissions for. Because people were just doing... That was my good fishing rod! That was my good fishing rod. I just broke it. Trying to fish a frog. <laughs> uh, I guess worse things have happened before. Um, but I might keep this, but 
I'd rather it be different, but I spent a long time. I only spent a long time building it because I didn't know what I was doing, to be fair. So you know what? Hold on. Let me uh, go in here. Let me at least get my cow spawner, which I don't even know where it is. It's, it's on one of these sides. I want the pistons. Definitely want the pistons out of it. Because we can build one of these pretty easily. Okay, well, it's functioning as designed. Where did I put the cow spawner? Bruh. Oh, that's right. It's down here. Okay, let's uh, pick up the spawner. Okay. And we'll simulate you getting pushed. There you go. Sorry, sir. And go ahead and pick up this dirt here. Okay. There's no quick way to break glass, so we just got to do it by hand. And like I said, I'm keeping everything below. Like, so all the farms down there, we're keeping those. Uh, we'll continue to build big farms in there. It's just, I feel like there was too much up here, and I just, I didn't like it. And I wanted, I wanted some change. I felt like I needed some change. So yeah, give me a little bit. Let me uh, finish breaking this stuff. I'll leave the grass with the mobs on it for now. I may build like a, like a section over to the edge, because if you can make them fall all the way... But I guess that's the problem. The sugarcane farms go all the way to the edge. So maybe if we like make a hole in the corner of the map that goes all the way to the void, then we can fix it, I guess. Hmm, I don't know. Let me think on that. Uh, but yeah, give me a bit. Let me break this. I'm not a very smart man. I, I, I was thinking like, man, I really don't want to make this into obsidian. So I was like, I don't want to put water on it. And then I immediately put water on it for some reason. And now I've got to break obsidian with an iron pickaxe. And that is probably going to take... Oh. Oh, because we have efficiency five. So it would have taken five times longer than it took to break it then. So it would have taken a long time. But my worries were, uh, you know, I didn't need to actually worry. It, was, it ended up being fine. And we're definitely going to sell all the beef, which, by the way, you make a ton of money from. So if I, like, throw this stuff off the edge and we just fill up, like, this much of our inventory with beef and then we sell it, look how much money it is. Like, each stack is 25 bucks, and it's all AFK. Like, that was $400. And that wasn't even nearly close. So we'll make sure and sell all that because... I have a feeling we might need the money because <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna build this uh, island out of, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it together. That's what matters. We're gonna do it together, guys. And there we go. The last of the beef is sold. We made five thousand dollars, which is pretty good. So I'm kind of hypothesizing about the, how this whole thing is gonna work, and I have a feeling that I'm gonna keep this. Oh man, I forgot I built this here. Oh, I gotta. I, so this is a double layer I gotta destroy. Because remember, we built this on the wrong one. And I had to build like a rim around it. It's really not a big deal. Um, but not only because of the mobs, but I want to have a grass floor inside of our dome. That's right. We're going to be building a giant mega dome. It's similar to... Uh, <laughs> what's this? <laughs> Doug Dimadome's dome. It's going to be a large dome. Welcome to the Dimsdale Dimadome. Wait, I'm Doug Dimadome. Yeah, owner of the entire Warren in the back. Yes, it's Doug Dimadome, home of the home of the Dimsdale. Yes, Doug Dimadome, owner of the I can't, Dimsdale Dimadome. There we go. I don't know what a Dimadome is, but if you uh, grew up in the you know in the '90s watching Fairly Odd Parents, well, early 2000s. Sorry. You know, because I was born in 1998. I was asking people on the server, I was like, how old do you guys think I am? And they were telling me they thought I was 30. I heard someone say 40. I was like, dude, <laughs> do I really do I really seem like a like a 30, 40 year old person? I mean, hey, like 30 is not far off. I'm 25, right? You know, five years. It's not like super far away. It's not like I was offended. I was more just surprised that like I gave the impression that I'm in my 30s or 40s. Like, dude, I'm playing Minecraft for a living. How mature can I be, right? <laughs> Uh, uh, bruh. Okay, well, let me finish breaking all this. Well, as the frog ribbits, I break the last block. Um, we're probably gonna... <laughs> I just realized all this... Uh, hold on. Well, <laughs> I know you guys are just kind of alone down there, but it's okay. It's okay. Trust me. Please tell me I have some mud stored up. 
don't don't say it. I know I know what you're thinking, and I know. I throw I threw away all this mud. You're like, why'd you throw away all the mud? And then you're like, where's the mud? You're like, dude, are you stupid? Like, in this case, a little bit, yes, because I should have kept some mud, and I it's like I have I have this intuition, and it's like talking to me. It's like, dude, come on, like you you know you're gonna probably need a little bit of that. Maybe keep some of it. And then, you know, I got that part in my brain that's like, why would you keep all that, dude? You could just get more. You could just get more. Bro, I think I messed up a little bit, but it's okay. It's, it's, it's not the end of the world. Um, put up the iron, the anvil. So, I, I want to build a dome, and I want it to have a grass floor. Well, I think part of having a grass floor is having dirt on the floor. And I feel like this is a good layer to start it. Since we already have all this stuff here. And this this gets our crop study up anyways. So we'll go ahead and just break all this. You know what? You can skip ahead like 15-20 seconds if you don't want to hear the satisfying sound of... Okay, well, you, <laughs> if you didn't want to hear that too bad, you got to uh, you got to hear it anyways. You could have skipped ahead. I warned you, okay? Um, so I'm gonna sell all this stuff because it is, it, you know, it's it's an okay amount of money. And I'm just kind of thinking, like, I, I think it might honestly be quicker to just break. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I see, I see you. So we're gonna go around and actually just fill those in um, right now. I realize you can't break this dirt very quickly because it is tilled dirt it does not break like instantly like normal dirt does there's so many weird things in minecraft now i'm sure on bedrock you can um, otherwise known as bug rock as people like to call it in the community which is funny you know it's like they like to call it bug rock but you know in all honesty minecraft bedrock performs outperforms java by a large margin it's a lot more optimized i mean it's it's made in c versus java um but not only that um it will it, it does it does definitely have more bugs did i click on all this and then not click sell i'm pretty sure i did didn't i pretty sure i didn't end up actually selling it um so i'm just going around i'm gonna i'm gonna fill in all these little water gaps or whatever you want to call them and then when I once I get done with that, I'll remove all the dirt and then I'll remove all the mud. But again, I don't think that's something you really need to see me do unless you know, like, you just you just have this strong desire to watch me break in the, in excessive amount of both materials. And in which case, I don't think you're gonna get what you're looking for here because I'm gonna go ahead and just watch YouTube and break this. You know, the one big thing that I should have ascertained before doing this is what am I going to build my island out of? Because the only thing I have a lot of, I have a lot of dirt, um, as you can see, like quite a bit of dirt. I have a lot of mud brick. Well, I have a lot of spruce wood. I have a lot of mud brick. Uh, where is the mud brick? Uh, we have a lot of mud brick, which is great. Um... But I don't want to build it out of those materials. I want to build it out of something new. <laughs> I literally don't have any way to do that. So I think, unfortunately, I can't do that in this episode. But what I can do is establish a platform for us to actually grind at. Now, I could have left the cow spawner and generated money. I got ahead of myself. I got ahead of myself. So let's look at our studies and let's see what can we realistically do. It's the mobs that are going to kill me here. It's the mobs that are going to kill me here. Like, how am I supposed to get that many mobs? I just, I just got to start swinging the sword, man. Got to start swinging the sword. The crops are not a problem. The ore is not a problem. It's the mobs. So let me look through my materials one more time. Because I said I don't want to build out of those. But the spruce wood is not a bad option. It's just not necessarily what I want to go with. 
Hmm. Let's see. Let me let me think on it. Okay. Well, to be fair, most of this is going to be made out of grass, which uh, you know we we do have a good bit of dirt. So most of this is going to be made out of dirt. Where is my dirt? Well, I lost all sense of bearing, so I have to grind. Well, there's some dirt in there. Um, we, we are going to want the grass, so I'm going to take all this dirt. We're going to need. We're going to need so much dirt. Which is fine. We can get dirt. It's not our problem. I wonder, are people just like selling dirt at this point for any reasonable sum of money? Like $4,000 is not reasonable. And that's the only on the market. So that's fine. Um, but I think we are going to build it on this layer. So what that means is I'm going to need to build out to the edge. I also really want to sleep because I know you guys would like to be able to see a little bit better. So let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Hopefully this doesn't throw us off the edge. Um, and then I'm going to set my island home to a better location like up here probably at least for right now we'll set it like right here so we'll do is set home <laughs> it's gonna be so funny if i forget to change it because you know at the end of the episode we'll have everyone come visit the island and say goodbye and i i think it's gonna be very interesting <laughs> when people when people get in here and they're like uh neo what happened to your island and be like don't ask you don't want to know something very bad a storm has struck my island and it's now that <laughs> my whole island just shrunk down into the, that little tiny thing. I wonder how much is the next island size upgrade? Fifty thousand sky dust ball. We were not even close to that. And we wouldn't be able to get that in time. Um, and to be fair, how much bigger is it? Okay, so that's actually like a significant amount bigger, like twenty six. Twenty six. The 13, half that, six more blocks out in each direction, somewhere thereabout. Which is pretty big. It doesn't sound like a lot, but since this, we're talking about cubes, well, squares here, you gotta remember everything is times four in length. Or, don't listen to me, I'm really bad at math, okay? I would 110% not listen to anything I'm saying about math, ever, at any point. I, I, I can do with some mental math pretty well, but when it comes to the, that technical stuff, no, no, no. Okay, so we have this square. I, I don't know exactly. I'm going to count it by hand. I know it's 50 by 50, but I just want to make sure before I go and build like a circle calculator that we're doing this right. Okay, so give me a second. Okay, I'm not going to count it by hand. We're going to start with a stack of dirt, and we're going to see what we end up with after we fill up an entire row. It should be 14. If uh, this is indeed 50, should be 14. Okay, so it is 50. I don't know why I wouldn't just trust the fact that it says 50 by 50, but I don't know. Stranger things have happened, I suppose. So now we need to make a circle that is this big, which doesn't sound like super hard, but I think it might be a little bit more difficult than I'm uh, thinking here. So I need to find the center of 50 by 50. Okay, well, <laughs> now I got to build... Now I gotta build all these dirt blocks back. Um, I guess I need to figure out how I can find the middle of this. Wow, well, I don't know what I did there, but that's not that's not it. <laughs> let, let, let me find like a center point on this, and then I'll come back. I'll start with like I'll actually count. How about that? I think that might help a little bit more. Just when I record, I feel like if I count, some people get annoyed. Okay, so this is 22 on either side. And I kind of like this shape to begin with. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other sides, I guess. So we'll do 22. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Let's see if we end up in the middle. I really hope so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay. Um, and then we just got to break the dirt with dirt above it. Okay. And then <laughs> we got to try to connect this. Now, this this is, is the more tricky part. So, like, maybe we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4 like this, right? I'm going to go ahead and just, like, break all this. I'm going to leave... A little bit on the... Oh, dude, we just lost so much dirt. I think it would have fallen all the way down here, right? Yes, okay, we can go get it. I feel like dirt is a little too valuable to be all haphazard with it like we just were. Okay, and then, you know, supposedly, like, if, if we do this correctly, 
and we actually end up making a circle, then it will connect and we won't have to do any more counting. But that's like a big if. So this is three, this is six. So we just did four. Maybe we'll do five and then we'll do one, two, three, four like this. And then one, so three. I know, I know I'm not making sense, but trust me, I'm, I'm trying to make a circle. I think we need to go a little sharper. I don't know. Let me play around with the numbers here. I'll come back in a bit. See what we end up with. Because this uh, this might be a little trickier than I was anticipating. This is why I should have used a circle calculator. But for some reason, I thought I could do it on my own. This is six. This is four. This is three. What if we did like a two here? Right? And then we did another two here. And then we did like a one and a one. Right? And then let's try let's try to copy that. Let's try to copy that and see how close we are. So one, one, two. Added one on the edge. I added one on the edge. I remembered that. So we did four, then three, then two. So then three, then two. So break this. Break this. And then we did two twos, right? Two of the twos. And then we did a diagonal and a diagonal. And then we're this close. <laughs> so we we, we got close to being a circle, but we're like just a smidgen off. And I feel like honestly, if we just connected it um, with like diagonals like this, it would be close enough, right? Like I think, I think this is fine. We're, we're not going for perfection here. Um, but I guess, you know what? No, we are gonna go for somewhat perfection and this is an easy fix, right? So instead of doing two twos, Right like this we're gonna do a th another three and then we're gonna do two twos I am butchering this a little bit, okay so Now we have two of the the three long sections one two three one two three then two of the twos So one two three one two three and then we need to do two of the twos Okay, and then we connect it diagonal Is that more circular? You know what? It's not going to be a, a dome, but it'll be a shape that is that is rounded on the corners. <laughs> yes. I think it would need to be a little... I, I'm trying to imagine the shape in my head. And y you know what? We're just going to build the entire thing and then ask for forgiveness after. How about that? Because being able to get this much glass... Like, let me go in the shop because I'm trying to remember exactly how much... A stack of sand is so a stack of sand is a thousand and sixty we may actually have enough money uh, we'll need to build like a small mega smelter which is uh i know it's like how is it small if it's mega but i i, I just a small like auto smelter to take care of the sand and then we should be good i think so let me break all this it's kind of hard because i, I want to make sure and keep the dirt you know what we could just go full speed and then just like go collect it after. I don't think that's gonna be any faster. I'm just gonna go get it now. I don't I don't think we're gonna end up losing dirt and it, and it really will not be any quicker. Now look, we got dirt scattered all everywhere because I'm getting lazy, man. And there we go. That uh <laughs> is that is not a circle, but it is a special shape that I have created that is uh unique. You know what? We'll just We'll, we'll call it how it is. It's unique. It's not a circle. It's I don't know how to describe a shape like that I mean, it, it's not even an oval because it's not really round So I don't really know like what <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't know what kind of shape it is I don't know what we're gonna do with the floor, but I know that for now we're gonna fill it all in with dirt But I don't know if we're gonna have enough dirt, but that's okay We can generate more dirt using our very 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 large um, what is it called? Spruce farm at the bottom of the world. We can break all those spruce trees, hopefully get some more cow spawners, which would be cool. And then after we do that, we should, honestly, we would probably have enough for another cow spawner. We have six, we need three more of that special spruce log. And then we'd have enough dirt to finish this thing too. But I'd like to be able to finish it in the episode, at least getting all the dirt down. But like... Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna have enough dirt, but I'm gonna put down all that we have, and then we'll come back. I am gonna put a little 
a couple of seed dirts down. I don't remember, did I grab the grass? No, I didn't. So we'll take some of this dirt and we'll just kind of, you know, sparingly put it around here. It doesn't need to be in any particular spot just so that it'll start growing. Um, otherwise it's gonna, it's gonna take a while to grow. I foresee that being kind of an issue. So if we wanna speed that up, we might as well start it now as early as we can. So we have two more, so we'll do like one over here and then one, I guess, like over here. And then it should start spreading. I mean, look at that. It already started spreading. And we could, you know, silk touch it if we were super concerned, but I'm not. So, yep, let me put all this dirt down and we'll see where we end up. I'm down here <laughs> trying to trying to get some dirt because we did not have nearly enough. And you can see, you know, I'm just kind of taking away the dirt here. We'll just replace it all with moss again and then just grow trees on it and it'll become dirt again. Um, it's really not hard to replace it with andesite or whatever. Not really worried about it, but I'd much rather have the dirt like right now. So that is what I am doing. Just wanted to give you a little update here. Hey, well, surprisingly, I didn't have to tear down the whole forest down there, thankfully. Um, we'll go repair that at some point. It's really not a big deal. But look at this, guys. We now have a platform. So I think to end this episode, what we're going to do is, uh, well, first of all, we're going to leave these guys here because they are not going anywhere. <sighs> I'm trying to think if I want to make like a multi-layer dome. So I have like multiple layers of this because this is a big enough area for us. Like we don't, you know, we don't have a team. Uh, you know, we have our large farms down there, but like for the most part, this is like a pretty big area. I know when I'm flying around, it doesn't look pretty big, but when you're standing here, it's pretty dang big. Like, I think we would be okay. Um, oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, we could put our bed. You know what? We could actually put our bed and our anvil inside of here. That's where we've been using them anyways. Mm-hmm. Now, was I smart enough to keep any hoppers? So I need chests. Um, I feel like if I would have kept hoppers. Yes, I did. I have a few hoppers in here. And then we do have some glass in there. We need furnaces, hoppers, and then we need coal, which we have way more than we'll ever need. And maybe we could put the, the auto smoker up here. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, yeah, we, we probably can. Yeah, that'd be fine. Because, again, we're just using this. We'll we'll do this. Slash IS set home. IS permissions. We're going to go ahead and open it back open. There we go. So now we do IS go. And you get teleported there, which is perfect. And then up here, we'll build our auto smelter. So we'll have our output chest right here. And, you know, because I'll, I'll probably just... I think two is okay. So then we'll have coal and coal and then boom, boom. So coal, okay, I'm gonna put it facing the right way. Do not go in the chest, do not smelt. Okay, and then, so we do this. Probably want even more. I mean, I, I don't know realistically how much we're gonna use, but we might as well give it some more. Okay. Looks to be about even, and then we're gonna go in here in the shop we're gonna buy as much as we possibly can fill inventory and it's gonna cost thirty three thousand dollars and we'll probably end up using more than this but this will be a good start um and we'll just let that smelt and then we'll say everyone come say goodbye to 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 today's episode slash visit the neo cubist and then the secret code for today's episode is going to be uh, 0829. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me to watch the entirety of today's video again. 0829. I'm kind of excited to see what this ends up looking like. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I am uh, excited to see what people say in the chat. They're probably like, oh, what happened to your island? Because <laughs> people have seen the same island this entire time. And uh, I'll keep your ads three minutes apart. How about this? We're going we're gonna to keep spamming it. Look at all of these people here, dude. No one said anything. No one said anything.
No one's... I know people have noticed, because everyone has, for the most part, been here before. Nobody's noticed. I mean, they've noticed, but they haven't said anything. What do you guys think? I thought they'd say something like, Oh, yeah, what happened? The island looking, uh... What happened, Neo? The island looking very different. <laughs> people are like, isn't Neo the boss? Like... <laughs> No, they're just messing with me. Some people get mad if I spam, but it's like, you guys don't understand. You got to get the attention of a lot of people. Sometimes it's very, uh, very difficult. Not done yet. But yes, thank you guys very much for supporting the server. Thank you for hopping in. I do hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead. There will be more episodes coming out very soon. Um, but yeah, until then, I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, yeah, bye.